Hey guys, BJ from Christie's RV here. Today I'm going to go through the 2020 StarCraft 338 MBH Telluride. We'll start up front here. You have your furnace exhaust. Don't want to put anything in front of that, that gets very hot. So make sure you don't place anything in front of that. You have your large pass through storage up front here. You have a small cargo light. It has two settings on and it has a motion sensor as well so you can leave that so as soon as you open the door the light will come on for you up front here you have your spare 20 pound propane tank you have a hook up here for solar panel already wired into the battery around front here you're set up to uh, put a generator inside and have that hooked up You have your 12 volt battery system here And you have a Battery disconnect as well that you can turn the battery off when you're not using the trailer so the battery doesn't die On This side here you have your retract and extend for your front landing gear simple lift it up bring it down if for some reason this isn't working it does come with a handle you slide in put it on the thing and you can manually turn them up and down not just stores up here in the little compartment this is the other side of the pass-through storage inside here is also stored your 50 amp power cord and you also have an adapter, 50 amp down to 30 amp, and then there's also a 30 amp down to 15 amp inside the trailer in the drawer as well. You have your dual 20 pound propane tanks with a crossover valve here, like it does. Little indicator points to which valve, which bottle it's pulling from. When this one does run out, this allows it to pull from the next one. So when you want to switch, you simply just go like that and then you can disconnect that one and get it filled. Button here, just for some lighting on the front of the trailer. You have your hot water tank right here. This does operate electric and gas. The switch is insider for that. I'll show you that after. You have your drain plug here to drain the system. Make sure to release the pressure using the re release uh, with the pressure release valve here, or opening one of the taps inside before removing this. And down below here is your sewer hookup. So you want to put your hose on here. You have a, a gray water holding valve right there that you pull open, and then over here you have another gray water holding tank. And then your black, your gray is for your shower, your sink, stuff like that. And your black is for your toilet. You have your low point drains right there. Just loosen the black caps and that'll drain all the water out of the lines for you. you see those under there. Over here you have your docking station with your outdoor shower comes with a hose and a quick connector right here. Just push it in, pull it out. You also have your black water flush here. So when you hook up your drain for your sewer and your gray water, you can hook that all up, hook the hose up here, open those valves, turn the hose on, and that'll help flush out the system for you as well. And then here's where you can hook up your city water. And you can also fill your holding tank from here as well. So the valve down shows up here on the indication here, down is city, and the tank fill is up to this side there, just like that. You have your 50 amp plug-in, I showed you the cord, you just simply turn it to lock it in, turn it, and pull out. Just like that. And there's a little indication light letting you know that you are hooked up. Right here is your extend and retract for your rear stabilizer jacks. So you can extend those down like that. And 
and back up. And those are to stabilize the trailer, not to level the trailer. So you want to make sure your trailer is as level as possible first, and then put those down, snug them up so that they stabilize so that the trailer doesn't rock. You have your inside your bumper here. Here's your hose for your sewage. That's inside the bumper. On the back of the trailer, you have a ladder, your spare tire. You have your little outdoor barbecue. Obviously on and off. The hose does connect down here. There's a little valve here to turn it off and on. These, all these connections are all quick connect. So just pull and clip them in. Just like that. Just like that. And this is just like your home barbecue. Turn it on. There's a little hole in the bottom to light that. Okay. On this side, you have a large compartment here for TV mount. You also have your cable, satellite, AC. So you can mount a TV in there and close that up. You have your outdoor kitchen. Your refrigerator and your stove. This one here is a manual light as well, so you need a lighter. Just turn the valve on, light it, and you're all set. You also have an, a connection here for water, and that's where that blue hose again, you can use that. It has a quick coupler here, and you just push that in, and clip it in. Okay. This vent here is for the fridge. You don't want to put nothing in front of that need to allow proper airflow for the fridge to work properly so keep that area open and you have your solid steps these steps do have an adjustment so if the ground's not level there's a pin that you pop the pin out and you can adjust the height of the stairs so that it'll sit on level ground for you you also want to make sure it's down far enough that it doesn't hit the bottom of the door when you're closing it you'll notice right here you want to make sure it's all the way down otherwise the door will hit and it won't close properly. Okay, let's head inside. So first thing when you walk in, you see your little uh, panel here for everything. It does all your water system. You have your slides. So you have your slide for your dinette and your chairs. That'll be slide one, that's in and out. When you're pushing it out, you hear that click in, it does the same click, that means you're at the full extent. You want to make sure the slide is all the way out or all the way in for it to seal, otherwise it won't create that seal and you'll have water leakage and stuff like that. You have your other slide here. This one's a little different. This is an in-wall slide, it doesn't have that clicking sound but when it gets to the end, it'll stop on its own. So you'll hear that and just let go of the button. Have your fridge, power, and you switch the mode to auto. So it's on electrical right now. So what it'll do is when it's on auto, it'll search for electric. If it can't find that, it'll switch over to the propane or you can set it to propane or set it just to electrical. Just like that. There's your fridge. And it has a big freezer as well. Go back here for a second. Here's your switch here for your lights. And then you have your exterior light, which is the under LED strip under the awning. Then you have your hot water tank. There's your gas and your electric. So if you want to run it on electric or gas, turn it on. And then you have your water pump. So if you have water in the holding tank and you need, and you need to create pressure, just simply turn that on. And then you have your awning, which is your extend and retract, of course. Just like that. These awnings are designed to be more of a sunshade. So if it is heavy rain or uh, windy, you don't want to leave that out. So you want to bring that in. So you have your microwave, just like you do at home. You have a hood range, light, fan, stove top. So 
stove top here. Simply just turn it to the little light. Flick the igniter and that lights. The oven's the same way. Turn, hold it in. You want to make sure the door's open. Like that. Hold it in and then turn your igniter and then the oven will light. Little storage under there. Drying rack, large stainless sink, cutting board. Large storage in here as well. Lights. TV, fireplace, and sound bar. The sound bar does have HDMI, USB, and Bluetooth power. And this will also do the TV. So if you have it set to the mode for TV, it'll auxiliary, it'll set the uh, sound of the TV will come out through that speaker as well. You have your fireplace, power, and you can change high or low, your fan setting, and then there's a timer. And there's also a remote for that as well. Have a couch here that turns into a bed. And you just pull those cushions off. What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift this up, fold those out like that, and then lift up just like that. And that folds down. And there's the bed. And in reverse, you just flip that back up. this in and there you go AC plugs at both sides you have your emergency exit window here as well you got dual reclining chairs they do have vibration they have heat and then they have a light for accent lighting underneath. You also have a USB little charger there for your telephone. Sidearm tables. Lots of lighting everywhere. You have lighting over your dinette. Little button. Okay. Down here, your CO detector. You want to make sure you test that frequently. There's a green light here. That means it's powered up and running. You want to press the button, hold it, and let it beep. Make sure it's working. There's a little test. And same thing with your smoke alarm that's up on the ceiling here. Same as at home. You just want to press the button, let it beep. Let you know that everything's working properly. Right here is your thermostat. So this controls your heat, your air conditioning, your heat and then you can have just the fan to cycle the air around and then back to off in here is the another bedroom or a little sitting area this couch folds out exactly like the other one did folds out into a bed and you have your upper bunk this bunk can fold up and lock into place up here, just like that, for storage. More lights. Put that back down. And we also have a ladder here for that. In here, this grate here is access to your hot water tank. So there's a valve in there to shut off the water to the hot water tank. So when you're winterizing, you want to bypass it. Then you can do that from there. Four screws to undo that grate. Right here is your panel. You have all your AC breakers and your DC fuses. If something's not working, come check this first. Sometimes the breakers do trip. So you want to make sure you're just all the way off, all the way on. And then the breakers here, you have your 
your fuses, I mean, sorry. If one of these usually go, there is a little light that indicates that it's not working. Another TV bracket mount here. More storage, lots of storage area. This is the bathroom here. So you have your corner shower. There's a locking little strap here. So when you're traveling, you wanna make sure you lock that. Shower unit. Get that. Toilet. There's a little button here. Press that to flush. Your switches here. You have your light and your fan. I'm going to show you the slide from this side. So you'll see a slide out button here. You come into the bedroom. Let's turn the lights on. There's a slide out there. So, like I said, the button's right here. This one does that. And this is an in-wall slide as well, so you won't hear the click on this one. It'll just get to the end and you'll notice. Just like that. Okay. You have lots of storage. You have your storage under the bed as well. AC plugs on both sides. Some lights. You have emergency exit here, pull out, push all the way out in case one of the exits are blocked and you need to get out in emergency. Bring that slide back in, same thing. Just like that. And when that slide is all the way out, there is a pocket door here that uh, divides the bathroom from the bedroom. Forgot to show you that when that was out. And then back to this bedroom here, there's a light switch and you have your slide here as well. This ladder can't stay here during traveling, so you wanna take that down. This slide here. And there is another emergency exit window here. It has two red latches, just flip them up and that window pushes all the way out. That's it, just like that. And I think that's about it. Congratulations, and I hope you enjoy the new trailer.